Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, hello. <laughs> if you saw my last video, let's just move on. Um, and let's get on into the hair content, what we're all here for. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it 100% with you guys. My hair is in complete shambles. It's so bad, it's really bad. I just don't really have much excuse for how I've been treating my hair. You know I love to do the big reveal, but like, it's just like, It's bad. The crest is actually um, outrageous. So for today's video, we're doing none other than the maximum, the maximum hydration, hydration method. method. Okay, the maximum hydration method because even though it's a long drawn out process and I don't plan on doing this more than once or twice a year, it's necessary. It's so bad. Hello? I mean, if y'all were to really see what my hair looked like up close, you would really be like, sis, is everything okay? Is everything okay? Blink twice if everything is okay. So, um, ooh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Honestly, as my hair got longer, I'm not gonna lie, I stopped taking care of it less. And my hair is not even close to my like goal length. Nowhere near, but I just got lazy. Not on my game. It's been bad. I'm just gonna take these twists out really quick and then I'm gonna give you guys my full attention. Ooh, mm-hmm. Okay, so basically my hair is dry to the touch, really to the touch. It's giving me Sahara Desert vibes. It is giving me Lay's chips type of teas. It's just giving me cracked lips in the winter, you know? So we're gonna do the maximum hydration method. This is a long method. Some girls are like, oh, I did it for five days in a row and I reached ultimate hydration. I am not those girls, okay? I'm doing this for one day, and if I don't reach my maximum hydration today, then it's just never happening because it's too many steps. It's too many steps. So it's a five-step treatment. Okay, so first step is clarify. Now, you can choose to use um, an apple cider vinegar rinse like I'm about to do, or you can use a, a sulfate-free shampoo, but I just felt like, let's just, you know, let's use the things from the earth, or from Publix, but let's just get this together. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, your hair still looks good, but like, it's not. I just don't know what to tell you. All right, so let's just get on into this rinse. I'm using the raw, organic, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, not that cheapy cheap stuff, like this is the real stuff. So I'm doing a half and half mixture. I'm doing seven ounces of apple cider vinegar and then seven ounces of warm water and then I'm just gonna shake it together, put the cap on, do a little shakey shake. And just a few benefits of apple cider vinegar in your hair, it helps to, um, what does it do? It balances, it's on the screen, but it balances your scalp and hair pH level. It fights against dandruff, dry, itchy scalp. It promotes soft and shiny hair, and it also combats split ends. So we love that energy. So something you're gonna see me doing a lot in this video is saturating my hair with water. Like water is such an important source of um, hydration and moisture and with especially, especially ladies, if you are low porosity, you wanna sit underneath this water and just let it do its thing. This is probably the best hair product out there is water from the earth. So I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like without doing anything so far, just saturating it in water. As you can see, the water is rolling off of my hair because I am low porosity and you really gotta work things in. So that's just what it looks like before we do anything. So with the apple cider vinegar rinse, I'm making sure I put it all over my scalp and I'm using my fingers to rub it in and try to get all the impurities off of my scalp. Also make sure that you're putting it from root to tip and getting um, all of your hair strands as well because this is a clarifying step. So after I do that for all four sections, I'm just gonna twist my hair up and put it back into each section. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that out of my hair, sitting under the water again. But let me tell you guys, you really wanna take time rinsing this out of your hair because it smells so, 
stink oh that stuff stinks so bad i'm not even gonna lie to you my good sis but i will tell you that it made my hair feel so soft like usually after shampoos my hair feels a little dry and brittle which i don't really worry about because i know the deep conditioner is going to take care of it but my hair was really soft after that apple cider vinegar rinse it just was pretty stink so prepare your heart mind and soul for that so the next step is deep conditioning with the aunt jackie's in control moisturizing and softening conditioner uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that throughout my hair and I'm gonna finger detangle and also you're gonna see me using my red tangle teaser as well because it really helps to clump my curls together but make sure you finger, finger detangle first before you go in with any type of um, small toothed detangler which a tangle teaser is pretty small tooth so you just want to be careful with that but it really was helping to clump my curls together and get me right so I just go ahead and do that throughout my hair and then I'm right back underneath the water I'm right back underneath the water um, so yeah I'm just gonna rinse that out of my hair and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys some point around this area is when I started to realize that this process is just taking way too long I'm like why did I decide to do this all right so we're no stranger to the next step but I'm just gonna show you guys really quick anyways it's just a bentonite clay hair treatment just gonna use a little bit of bentonite clay, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, I used what was left over of my rinse, and I'm also throwing in some peppermint oil in there as well. Just a pro tip, you wanna make sure you're not using a metal spoon or a metal bowl um, to mix your treatment because it takes away from like the, I forget the word, but if you Google it, I promise it'll tell you everything you need to know, okay? Um, so anyways, this is what my treatment looks like after. This is the texture that I was going for. And this is what it's making my hair look like so far. I love me a good bentonite clay treatment because I really love how it really helps to define my hair before I go into um, like my wash and go. If I could do this every time, I would. But it's just way too messy and it takes up uh, way too much time. So I'm not doing that. And it clogs my drain. Make sure you got Drano on deck because ma'am. All right. So I'm just going to finish putting this throughout my hair. Definitely love the results. When I turn around, you're going to see the back of my hair. Like the curls are really clumped together and very defined. And I think that's such a great start to um, get a pop and wash and go, which we're going to do next. But I'm just going to rinse the clay treatment out of my hair. And there's just something so satisfying about me watching this clay just rinse up out of my hair. Love that for me. Um, so really soon you're gonna see my face change because I just realized how moisturized my hair is. And right about here, I'm like, well, what is this? Come on somebody, my hair is so moisturized right now. I'm gonna give you guys a side by side of what we started with to what we have now. I must say that I reached maximum hydration. Come on, somebody, hello. Don't say and tell y'all, I'm giving y'all the steps, okay? I'm giving y'all the steps. Uh, but yeah, I was just so shook with how moisturized my hair is. And my hair is so shiny. Like, my hair is extremely shiny right now. I think that has a lot to do with the apple cider vinegar um, treatment that I did in the beginning. My hair is so shiny, it was so soft. The frizz was to a minimum, hello, and the curls were really clumping together. So the last, what well, kind of last step that I'm going to do is put in some leave-in conditioner. I'm using the Camille Rose Honey Leave-In Conditioner. My camera shot is a little off here, y'all please forgive me. But this is actually the first time I'm applying my leave-in in the shower. Y'all have been telling me to do this for months. And this is my first time doing it and I definitely see a huge difference of applying it to soaking wet hair than applying it to air dried hair. So. Pro tip, apply your leave-in conditioner in the shower. I know you guys have been saying it. But can we just look at the shine and look at the clump? Look at the hydration. Hello? I know you see it. I know you see it. I'm like, oh, maybe this was a little worth it. Come on, somebody. Hey. <laughs> very, very um, happy with those results. So I'm um, just going to take a shower now. And now here we are where I have done a back section. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm talking so much. Give me some grace. A back section of um, my wash and go. I'm using my favorite combo right now, which is the S Curl Gel or whatever, and my Eco Styler Gel. Also using my Tangle Teaser where I need because it helps clump my curls together so much. But guys, I'm telling you, this is probably the best wash and go I've had to date. I'm gonna turn around really quick and you're gonna see that there's zero frizz in my... Do, uh, do y'all see that there's zero frizz? And my hair is so shiny. 
I honestly cannot believe how clumped together my curls are and how shiny my hair is. I was definitely very impressed. Very impressed. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very impressed. And I don't have much more to say. I'm gonna pop back in with the actual in time voice soon. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair. One thing I do wanna say, if this is your first time ever doing this, they do suggest you start off with a Cherry Lola treatment, but that treatment is not my ministry. Way too many products, way too much time. I was not about to do that. Who has amino acids in their cupboard? Who? Not me. But I will link a video down below with the Cherry Lola treatment. Other than that, I'm about to talk to y'all in real time now. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is my hair. Um, fully coated with the gels and the s curl yada yada. And my hair, it's definitely giving me, it's giving moisture, okay? It's giving hydration. It is, it is. First of all, my skin is giving me, wow. Um, but wow, like, geez, the shine is actually out of control. I'm. This shine is, jeez Louise. Uh, girl, I mean, my hair just impresses me every time. Gosh, Lee, if this isn't maximum hydration, I don't know what it is. I'm not doing this tomorrow. There could be more, but I'm pretty satisfied with what we have here, okay? <laughs> wow, uh, that's good. That's real good. Are you kidding? Wow, wow. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a close up one more time of what we have here. This is crazy. What? It's crazy. Really do love that for me. I uh, love you guys very much. Thanks so much for watching this video. Took me a lot of time, I'm not gonna lie. This took me about four or five hours. Whew, the recording and the, the coming in and out of the bathtub. It's a lot. Whew, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye.